bodybuilders make the grave mistake of approaching the subject of bodybuilding training with the idea that all training theories have some merit, then they waste precious, precious time frantically trying one after the other in the hope that someday they'll find something that works. And because most bodybuilders use that approach, they fail to achieve their goals, and that's true. More bodybuilders fail to achieve their goals than succeed because of this irrational approach. They don't understand that there, there does exist specific appropriate knowledge in every field of endeavor to achieve a goal. Not understanding that, they accept blindly and uncritically all these different training theories, trying one after the other. Again, hoping that someday they'll find one that works. It could not possibly be true that all, or many, or even two training theories have equal merit. There is and can be only one valid scientific theory of anything like medicine, astronomy, physics, electronics, mathematics. Likewise, there is and can be only one valid theory of productive bodybuilding exercise. And I'm convinced that it's the theory of high intensity training. However, I don't expect, nor do I want any of my clients necessarily to accept my conclusion based on my certainty, but I do like them to listen to the reasons why I'm certain, then arrive at their own conclusion. And that's what this next portion is gonna be about in part. If you were gonna set out from Orange County to New York by automobile, you're going to take a trip by car, you would consult a map. A map, interestingly enough, is a type of a theory. It's a theory about how to get from one place to another. If you were to start out from Orange County to New York without a map, of course, after a short period, you'd get lost. As a result of being lost, you would lose your motivation, then try to find your way back home. A bodybuilding theory, if it's a true, valid, correct theory, will serve you successfully as a map on your journey towards the development or acquisition of a more muscular physique. But you want to know, before you get started, that your map is a true map. You don't want to start out from Orange County and end up in Alaska and then in Atlanta, Georgia. You want to go to New York without all the detours. You want to achieve your goal in the most productive, efficient manner imaginable. Before you could ever come to critically analyze these different theories out there, Weider has one, Cybergenics has one, John Carrillo has one, Brad Jeffries has one, I have one. You have to know what a theory is. A theory is a set of principles which claims to be either a correct description of some aspect of reality and or a guide for successful human action. What I want you to remember here primarily is that a theory is a set of principles. The theory of high intensity training, like any other theory, has to have a beginning, a starting point, a first principle. In formulating a first principle of a bodybuilding theory, the primary, the first principle would be a primary, we have to answer the question, what is it we're seeking to achieve with this activity? And of course the answer obviously is grow muscle. What is it in other words? What element, what factor, what feature pertaining to the workout itself is responsible for triggering the growth process in human beings? This is the primary because this is what we're seeking to achieve. Until you identify what the stimulus is, you can't determine how much of it and how often you need it. See my point? As far as I've been able to ascertain, there is no one else out there advocating a theory, neither Weider, nor Perillo, nor Cybergenics, nor anyone else who has even identified formally a first principle. Now remember, a theory is a set of principles. If you ain't got a first principle, man, then you ain't got a theory. As far as I've been able to determine, the only theory that exists, qua theory, in fact, is the theory of high intensity training. It is a set of non-contradictory abstract principles which serves as a correct description of some aspect of reality. The first principle of the theory of high intensity training is in fact based on an identification of the specific stimulus responsible for flipping on the growth machinery inside human beings. It was discovered a long time ago that that specific stimulus is related to the intensity 
the intensity of the effort, i.e., the closer that the intensity of the effort gets to 100%, the greater the likelihood that growth will be stimulated. Now, just as I said a minute ago, there is and can be only one valid theory of anything. It's also true, of course, there could only be one correct, valid definition of any concept like intensity. Something I learned a while back studying philosophy and logic is that a precondition of rational thinking is that you attach clear, specific meanings to words. When, you, when we think, we think using concepts to words. If you don't know the precise meaning of the key concepts involved in your thought patterns, then you ain't thinking clearly.